everyone this is Vikram Dalal and I'm a 3D journalist in Project Zero and Design Studio. In this course we are going to cover how to create realistic snow footprint using vertical flow and we will start our course from making basic snow surface then we will work on particle flow setup after that we will use frost measure and finally we will work on material and lighting so I'm very much excited to share my knowledge with you so let's get started with our first lesson okay so this is our first lesson and in this lesson we are going to create a basic setup of snow surface and character it's not so hard I mean it's very easy so let's start working on it first of all let me tell you that I already said this small setup it's a animated character which was done by my friend Suraj so I can say this basic animation okay and I just add plane and you can see its position and here you can see the length and width which is a hundred length and width 75 and segments like length segments 100 and width segments 75 so you can see this so this is a normal setup now we are going to mm, we are going to work on this no surface so first of all select plane then add noise modifier mm, yeah now just increase the strength make it uh, 0.5 y 0.5 and z 0.5 so let's see how it looks oh I can't see any difference so just reduce the scale not this much like uh, yeah it's fine now add one more noise for like a zigzag surface more zigzag surface bigger scale so add one more noise okay now increase strength make it uh, 2 by 2 by 2 I think we need more I think let's reduce the scale first then we will can decide make it 10 yeah it looks good but let's increase the strength like 3 by 3 by 3 yeah it's fine okay now I think it's sufficient for basic setup of snow surface and character I mean yeah so in next lesson we are going to work on particle flow for the basic footprint so let's start working on it so in next lesson we are going to work on particle flow setup for our footprint so we will meet in next lesson so see ya all right so in this lesson we are going to work on particle flow setup actually particles are playing very important role in this particular effect so let's start working on it first of all press 6 for particle view then uh, add empty flow uh, go to pf source to change the integration step make it frame in render because it's not very high quality or high level simulation so make it frame then increase the viewport quantity 100% and now add birth yeah 
just link it then go to BERT keep the image start 0 then make image stop 100 100 frame increase the amount make it 2000 now add position object to emit particles from our character so go to position object select our character okay now just select this animated shape so let's see uh oh our particles are coming from whole body but uh, we don't want that we want that particles should come only from foot so we can do one thing go back to frame 0 go to modify panel select character go to editable mesh then polygon now just select the foot polygons you can see the selection which I have created just make the same now go back to particle view position object then location here you can see the surface so just change the surface to selected faces now see the magic yeah so this is a very basic setup of particle flow now we are going to add measure and we are going to use frost measure actually you can use you can use uh, blob mesh but I will suggest please use frost measure because it has more options and better options so please use frost measure and we will work on frost in our next lesson so see you all right so we have finished our particle setup now we are working on frost measure so go to geometry then think box this is the external plugin so you have to download it and then install it so select frost drag it in viewport go to modify panel then yeah yeah just add our particle system so add pf source 001 okay now you can see this measure this blob mesh then go to meshing change the unions of spheres to metabolts okay now change the radius make it uh, two or one yeah one is fine then go to skip meshing quality resolution as it is then go to metabolism and change the radius scale i think radius is radius scale is sufficient and surface level is also fine still no need to change any parameters so i think keep it as it is so let's see how it looks Yeah, fine it's totally good now just hide the particle system all right so we have finished our measure setup now it's time to work on very important part which is a footprint so let's start working on it we will do that in our next lesson so see you then all right now let's create a footprint effect so we have already finished our particle setup and frost setup so let's start working on it select plane which is our snow surface go to modify panel and add volume select now select vertex then 
go to mesh object select by mesh object and over here we have to add our frost measure okay so after adding this frost measure into volume selects just select measure and hide it now go to soft selection just turn it on set the fall off first of all go to few frames ahead ok so first of all we have to reduce the fall off for so make it uh, 5 yeah then uh, keep pinch 0 and reduce the bubble make it uh, minus 1 or 0.5 yeah now add push modifier and reduce the value make it uh, minus 1 or minus 2 just yeah it's working now just add select this surface and add turbo smooth no no don't use turbo smooth first of all add one more noise for like a crooked shape mm -mm, yeah mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, yes it's processing okay now add some strength like uh, point seven five uh oh I can't see any difference so reduce the scale make it two or one yeah one is fine then add one more modifier which is turbo smooth and keep the iteration one now let's see how it looks mm -mm. yes it looks good let's see in camera it's working it looks good now let's add some material to our snow surface and some lighting and then we will render our scene so let's go to our next lesson all right we have finished our all setups now it's time to assign some material and let's add some light so first of all we will assign some material so press M for material editor select our snow surface and just add some color we will make it little blue make it Increase the self illumination, make it 50, then increase the specular level, make it 10, reduce the glossiness, and I think that's it. Now let's add light, 
so go to light then standard this is target spot go to modify panel turn on shadows reduce the multiplier make it 0.775 then change the color make it yellow ok out to 15 yeah press ok now let's make a test render press f9 yeah i think we have finished our all setup now it's time to render the whole sequence so just render it and we will make some color correction in after effects so let's go to our next lesson all right we have finished our rendering now let's make some color correction so first of all import our render sequence snow footprint open yes okay now drag this into timeline now add solid background okay now let's change the snow color so select snow footprint go to effect color correction color balance now Let's do it like a uh, yeah. I think it looks good. Now let's see the preview. mistake so just go to replace footage and select target sequence mm -hmm. it was my mistake so extreme sorry yeah. so let's play the preview so I think we have done it it looks good so I think you learned something from this and you enjoy it so we have finished our tutorial now it's time to say goodbye and we will meet in our next tutorial so till then goodbye and have a nice time